everyone, I'm back again. Um, I have had such an amazing weekend and now day as well. Um, so the weekend I was down in London with for the uh, King of DIY Jerry's Meetup. He was doing a scape off and a little talk um, alongside George Farmer, um, known as the Aquascaper. Um, if you're into aquascaping then you've probably heard the name loads before if you're not like me. Um, I Once I heard about it, I YouTube him. He's actually really, 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 really good, which you'd kind of expect. Um, but I did actually meet him. Uh, I got a photo with Joey, which will be somewhere in this video. So I'm going to do the meetup as a two part video. Um, part of the talking and answer questions and answers that Joey and George done, and then I'll do it as the escape off later. Um, I have got an update in this video, and it's amazing. And I can't believe it just happened. <laughs> but I won't give it away. It's in the video, you have to watch to find out. Ha ha ha. Um, but yeah, it was a really good weekend. Um, I then went on to Star Fisheries in London. Uh, they're a place that only do like special specialist um, and breed and show where the goldfish. So there's a couple up in the big tank. I haven't got a quarantine tank big enough for any goldfish, let alone three. So the whole tank's just in treatment in case. Um, and in a couple of weeks, I'll have a video showing you. Oh God, they're amazing. I love them. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions or anything else, then drop it down below as well and I'll get back to you when I can. Bye. So this is in the middle of the Aqua Depot shop and it's a whole, a whole three Uh, right now, I think there's about 4,000 gallons and 13 tanks. Uh, we might move up to 20 or 30 once I clear out some space. Yeah. It's taken forever, though, like to, to set up a tank. It's a lot of work, and uh, you know, you, you, you got to source the fish. Not everything's always available. Um, there's, a, I'll tell you some ideas for some tanks. So, um, you guys ever heard of exodons? <coughs> uh, Bucktooth tetra. Yeah. So, like the, they're a cherison, they're a tetra technically, but um, I know if you all heard about piranhas. You think they're vicious, crazy animals? No, they're very uh, skittish and they're quite boring. But the bucktooth tetra eats the same type of food. They'll rip apart other fish and they're constantly active. Um, I think I want to do a tank of those, maybe like 40 or 50 of them. Um, they'll be pretty insane. Breeding? I mean, fish, you know, if it happens, it happens, but I'm not, I'm not looking to do it. Uh, it's a, it takes up a lot of space, resources, time to breed fish. Um, the rays are definitely going to breed eventually. You know, you give them a big enough tank and feed them, and once they get to sexual maturity, they're going to breed. Um, but the problem is, based on my location, it's hard to get rid of them. Uh, and I don't like buying and selling. Uh, it's, um, it's it's too time consuming. Yeah, I used to breed discus, and that was a nightmare. You know, just selling and getting rid of them. I was like almost giving them away at like 10 bucks at one point, so. So yeah, I uh, got into aquascaping in a big way and it was fairly slow in the UK. Uh, CO2 injection back then wasn't very common. Um, hardscaping materials weren't very good. Um, and yeah, it was quite a challenge back then. But now thankfully, um, you know, the hobby's grown, aquascaping has grown to the point now where today, you know, there's hundreds of you guys here watching aquascaping. So it's pretty much, you know, it's the pinnacle of my aquascaping career right now. So it's a real honor to be here. Like um, best sort of materials to start from okay, scratch. Yeah, it's a really great question. So uh, for those who didn't hear, uh, the lady there asked about how what's the best way to get started into aquascaping. So I would always go. I would always start off with something quite small. Um, it's it's obviously less expensive, less expensive to buy initially, but also less expensive to maintain. Um, the materials are going to cost less. Hardscaping materials are going to be much cheaper, um, and you can still learn to grow plants. You can still use aquascaping principles just on a smaller scale. So I would go for something like, um, you know, a nano cube maybe, um, just holds like 20 or 30 liters. Uh, there's loads of great aquatic plants out there now which are almost designed for nanoscaping. You know, really fine textured plants, relatively easy to grow, mosses, small cryptocorini species, even dwarf hair grass, you can grow a nice carpet of that in a relatively low tech tank. 
Um, so yeah, you can you, you know you can set up um, a really lovely system for probably a hundred pounds or so, uh, and you can create a really successful aquascape. Um, I'll, I'll just do a little bit of a plug uh, for the UK Aquatic Plant Society. It's uh, a free to join society. If you are interested in plant aquariums and, and aquascaping, uh, then, then do consider joining the forum. Loads of best expert advice on there. Um, so yeah, give that a shot if you want to get into aquascaping in, in a bigger way. Um, and then just check me out as well on, on Google and you'll, you'll see a load of my videos and stuff. That'd be really cool. We currently have two aquascapes at home. Uh, Joey kindly filled them last night, so no doubt you'll see some videos of them soon. I have an aquascape for 1200, uh, which is the uh, same brand as this, but twice as big, basically. This is an aquascape for 600. Um, that's got some Manakapura angelfish in there with some nice wood. Very simple planting. It's like an island aquascape with a perimeter of cosmetic sand and some rocks, wood, and then just some planting in the centre. And then my other tank uh, is an aquascape of 600. It's like a triangular kind of aquascape, lots of wooden rocks, mosses, uh, quite an intricate kind of layout, a bit more high maintenance, a bit more kind of tricky to look after, but um, visually kind of more interesting. Yeah, so um, I have run up to six aquascapes at home at any one time, but I, um, it's just so much work. It's like water changes every day. You know, it's just really, really time consuming and I can't actually get any proper work done. <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm just limit, limited to two at the moment. I do want to try reef. Um, there's lots of genres of fish keeping I'm very interested in, but it's just having the time, at, you know, and obviously the uh, 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 money as well to do it. So I'll just stick to the two scapes for now. Before we do a quick update here, um, just before I was about to clean the frog tank, uh, the tadpole tank out, hence the plastic container being here. I was obviously looking at my frog tank, as beautiful as it is, and up in these plants I saw a little dot, black dot thing, and I found a little tadpole. So that would be two. There's also another one. I grabbed out just random plants that were floating about, because um, I like to add them into the tadpole tank. And there was number three. I think you just see it coming out of this corner just there. So actually now, three tadpoles but I don't know how old the smaller ones are but you can see there's quite a big size difference between that one and this one over here I can't believe it I've got three tadpoles under there so excited <laughs> 